What is Microsoft Viva Connections? In this video, I'm going to explain and answer that question by walking you through a demo example of Viva Connections. Now, I'm going to be showing you the different features of Viva Connections and talking to you a bit about different types of companies that use it and why they use it. I just wanted to start off by telling you, though, that Viva Connections is based on SharePoint. Although it has its own unique interface that you can access through Microsoft Teams, a browser, mobile apps, um, it is based on SharePoint. So if you've already used to using some of the components of SharePoint, like news and events and some of these other kind of features, you're going to find it very easy to pick up Viva Connections. In fact, Viva Connections has a SharePoint site which is associated to it, and you can actually manage um, the dashboard elements of Viva Connections and see the analytical sides of Viva Connections directly from the SharePoint site. So let's talk about the first feature of Viva Connections, which is the news component. Now, this is the most visible, obvious feature of Viva Connections because it's pushed right to the top of the user interface. So let's take a look. The news bar across the top is essentially pulling from the news site that we've got selected in the background. As I say, it's based on SharePoint, so it's nice and simple to create news articles inside of SharePoint, which will then automatically pull through into um, your Viva Connections. Now, users can choose to cycle through and kind of see different news articles, and by clicking on a particular article, it will then launch the full article back um, inside of, of basically the SharePoint page that was originally creating it. So as you can see, this is our news article that's pulled through and the full information um, about our Valto employee benefits, um, the EMI share scheme can be seen on this page. It's also super easy to configure once it's set up. Uh, we can choose to change the sort of image um, if we wanted to. We could even use stock images or upload our own. I'm just gonna look for some backgrounds find a particular background that I like, say maybe this one, click on insert, and then we can change the background of our Viva connections as simple as that. We can always choose to uh, reset it to default as well if we'd like the kind of look and feel of that. Just by clicking save, we'll then make the changes. We can also see um, some additional settings on the right hand side for this new section. Um, by default, it will be pulling the news from the dedicated Viva Connection site. Now, there's a few steps involved in enabling the Viva Connection site, which I'm not going to include in this video because that's a bit more technical. But for the actual configurations of um, the news, we can choose which SharePoint sites we want to pull news from, whether it's this site, or we can actually be specific um, to pulling news articles from other uh, SharePoint sites as well. You can also choose to pin uh, specific items if you wanted to promote specific content by pinning it and arranging it, um, the, the news articles and the contents and even external news articles as well. Um, you can do that using this feature here as well. The next feature is referred to as the dashboard. Now the dashboard is essentially a collection of cards um, which are almost like quick links in themselves that are designed to provide users a quick way of accessing a specific app or functionality from not only Viva Connections, but other um, Microsoft products or even third parties that you wanted to integrate to as well. So let's go and take a look. So back in Viva Connections, all we need to do is scroll down and you can see we've got this dashboard here. Now, these are basically tiles or, or what they refer to as cards, which I have configured onto this particular example. So across the top we have, um, actually you can provide, you can build your own cards, and I'll show you this in a moment, but you can build your own card. So what I've done here is I've built a card which basically is asking our employees to share their thoughts and feelings about our recent strategy day, um, about the announcements made and make potential suggestions for our next event. So by clicking on give feedback, that will then launch the Microsoft feedback form. Of course, then an employee can then go through, fill out the form and then just click submit to submit their answers. But I should also stress that we could make this card into anything we want. Anything that we've got a title, description and a URL to, to click off to. We can actually have multiple buttons as well. So if there was uh, maybe an option, say, provide good feedback or or bad feedback or whatever different types of options maybe you wanted to launch to, you can have multiple buttons there as well. Um, 
we're quite pop, uh, we're quite keen at the moment on encouraging our staff to use the praise feature of Microsoft Teams. Now, this isn't Viva Connection specific, but it is a app essentially or a card that we can put in Viva Connections, which will then open up the praise feature, which is essentially a feature of Microsoft Teams anyway. Um, so we can choose who we want to send the praise to, um, what sort of title it's going to be. Is it awesome? Thank you. Congratulations. Put in a little note, choose a background color and then send. And then we can also tag in our colleagues in that so they can come and like it and give additional praise on top of that to the employees. Um, we've also got this find people option. So this is um, essentially like a lookup. So we can type in someone's name simply by clicking into the box type in the name, select somebody, and then we can see their contact information. So it's a great way of finding people if we need to get a phone number, an email address, or start a brand new chat or phone call with that person. We can use the people card uh, on here. We've also got um, events web parts. This is going to show any events. Now, again, we've configured this so we could pull out events from multiple different SharePoint sites. If I click on view more, we can see the full list of events which are coming up. Top news. Now we have had the feature of news, as I say, across the top of our Viva Connections page, but we might want to have almost like a secondary or B type of category news area, which is pulling news from somewhere else. So maybe the news which is across the top up here is news which is for everybody. Whereas actually this top news here, we could configure it so it's part of the personalized experiences. It's only going to show news from a departmental site, for example. So say, for example, if I'm in the IT team, it'll only show me news which is related to the IT team. Next, we've got um, our OneDrive. Now, this is essentially showing us the latest file um, that I've opened. So I've opened up the business unit content plan recently, um, and I can choose to click on view more files to see more files from uh, my OneDrive. So basically, it showed me documents I've been working on, and it's a quick way of getting back into those particular tasks. Also, um, across the bottom, we've got the ability to see assigned tasks. Now, this is coming from things like to do and planner. I can also choose to add a brand new task if I wanted to. So, as it's off the top of my head, I could choose which plan I want to add it into, uh, the priority of the due date, and some notes around it, as well as a title for the task. But that's just going to show me some urgent tasks, things which are overdue, things like that to make it easier for me to see what tasks which are coming up. We can also provide custom links. So similar to this card up here. Now this card up here, as I say, we have buttons and uh, a lot more kind of description. If we just wanted a quick link, we can also provide a singular quick link like this to our Valto YouTube channel or any other third party website, which has got a hyperlink, a URL that we can link off to. We can also include more like quick links in here. So by click on view more, I can see things which Often people want to quickly access things like submitting expense requests, booking holiday, employee benefits, things like that, which we might want to link off to either third party applications, a power app or a SharePoint page. And then finally, we've got a stream um, card here, which is essentially our CEO update. So it's allowing our employees to catch up on the latest announcement videos directly from our CEO. And by clicking view, they can see the latest videos there. Click on that and open up the video inside of stream to watch it. Now, I should also mention it's really easy to add new cards and configure this. All we need to do is click on the edit button. And what that's going to do is put us into almost like an edit mode specifically for the dashboard. We can see what it's going to look like if someone wants to use it on a mobile phone. And we can also see what it's going to look like if someone wants to use it on a desktop. We can add in brand new cards by clicking the add card button. And here you can see there's loads of different options in here. It integrates with some of the other things which we've not talked about, like approvals. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, shifts, if you're using the shifts um, kind of features of Microsoft Teams. Um, things like Viva Pulse, um, we can integrate as well. And there's also a whole host of other third party applications which integrate nicely into this as well. Um, but I was just going to show you the ability to actually create our own cards. And to do that, it's fairly simple. We just click on Card Designer and that adds a brand new card. We can then choose to edit them. And just like in any one of these other cards, by selecting them, you'll see little pencil options appear. That's essentially just how we edit them. Now, I told you, if you're familiar with SharePoint, um, a lot of this functionality is very similar to the way that web parts work inside of SharePoint. So a card is very much like a web part. We can then choose the template layout, whether it's just going to be purely just a heading, whether it's purely just going to be an image and a heading, 
or whether we're going to have a description. We can also choose whether we want it to be a medium or a large card. Uh, the difference is a medium is just a kind of small square shape, uh, whereas a large is more rectangular um, in that shape. We can choose whether we want to use a custom image or whether we want to use Microsoft's library of icons uh, as part of the card. We can then give it a title um, just by typing in here. You'll see that it will change um, the kind of almost like the title of what it is here. We can then give it a heading. So this is my heading. And you can see that change as well as a description. This is some text. Um, and that's basically my card um, text ready. All I then need to do is choose a link. Um, and also if I wanted to have um, a primary and secondary button, you can also choose like I've done up here uh, to only enable the primary button, but you can choose whether you want a primary and secondary button and where they're going to link off to um, specifically. As I say, it's really easy. Um, to configure we can just remove them we can drag them around so that it's really customizable if we wanted to move this we could just literally lift it up drag it and move these cards around to fit the page exactly how we want it to once we're happy with it we just click on that republish button and that'll then publish it for everybody else to see with inside of our viva connections page I just wanted to pause for a second to ask a quick favor. If you're enjoying this video, please do subscribe to our channel as we have so much more Viva content as well as Power Apps, SharePoint, and loads of other Microsoft 365 related videos which you will find really useful. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well so you get notified every time we post and we're usually posting at least once a week. The next thing to talk about is resources. Essentially, resources is a dedicated area for quick links inside of Viva Connections. Now, I know we've seen that we've got a couple of different types of link cards we can already add to Viva Connections, but there's also a dedicated area that you could add in um, small links, which are essentially like useful links, quick links, which really call it out and make it much easier for people to see dedicated links. So if I scroll down further uh on the page of Viva Connections, you can see this resource area here. So this allows us to add links that connect to popular organizational resources. So by clicking on edit, uh, we can either add in manual links or something I quite like to do is click on this import SharePoint links. And because this is related to our SharePoint intranet sites, it's pulling through the navigation bar automatically, which I think is a fantastic feature. So we can include things like navigational links to our employee benefits, to our expenses, to our leave request, org chart, phone directory, maybe um, even some of the tools that we use like Screen Connect or Zendesk, Halo, um, things like that, our policy system. Um, then once we're happy with that, we just click on import and that'll automatically pull through each of these quick links. We can then edit them individually if we wanted to, to change the icons. So we can choose a totally different icon um, if we wanted to, click on select. Um, and we can change the icons on each of these individual ones. I don't think I click save them. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we've also got our resources area. As I say, it's a nice way of calling out um, the individual links on the page. So they stand out slightly separate, from, maybe from some of these other kind of busier areas in the dashboard. And then finally, inside of Viva Connections, there's a area at the bottom which is going to promote the use of more Viva products. So Viva, as I say, is a suite of products. It's not just one product. So Viva Connections doesn't just kind of exist on its own. There's so many other Viva products, including Viva Insights, Viva Engage. And essentially, once you start using these Viva products, um, they all start to integrate a little bit and will start promoting the use of other products within inside of the Viva suite. So if I scroll down further, you can see there's Explore More Viva apps. We've got Viva in general, the Engage, Insights, Learning, as well as the Pulse options as well. So this is a fantastic way of kind of promoting more of the kind of apps of Microsoft Viva and getting adoption of all of the Viva suite um, applications um, increasing whilst people are using Viva connections. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, um, please do like the video, subscribe to our channel for more content. And if you need any professional help, there's a link in the description below and also on the bio of our YouTube channel where you can basically contact us via a contact form. Um, Valto are Microsoft adoption specialists. So we have some designated uh, certifications from Microsoft 
um, because of our abilities and skills and experience in helping people adopt new technologies like Microsoft, uh, Viva Engage, Viva Connections, uh, and all the other Viva Suite products. So if you need any help in terms of deploying or adopting these products, please feel free to contact us with a link in the comments feed below.